Hey everyone watching us on Big Ten TV. Mwesu um, Gamba Bosco, the head of Wisdom Center, Bugesara, that's the Karumuna. Yes, as usual, as a science teacher, I'm back that we continue with our activities. Uh, so last time we checked, we looked at uh, uh, the production in plants, we looked at different processes, okay? Yes, which are very important. And again, we come now to continue with the lessons. Uh, and then, uh, yes, for this time, we are going to look at specifically uh, fertilization and then I will see how we move ahead. So let us move on and then we'll check on today's work. So as simply last time we defined fertilization and we say that fertilization simply uh, uh, refer, okay, yes, to the union of or fusion of male and female cells. Yes. Uh, in this case of defining fertilization in plants, it's the same thing you can define like in animals, okay? So we are defining fertilization in let's say in the game, the simplest uh, fertilization is the union of male and female gametes to form a zygote. As simple as that, okay? Be it in the plants or in animals. So when you ask what is fertilization in plants, simply define, just several define as usual. So we can simply define fertilization that is the union of male and female gametes to form a zygote, okay? Uh, that means the immediate cell formed after fertilization will be a zygote. That's very clear. Uh, in terms of plants, we say that are simply after fertilization. We see what takes place, okay? But before going there, we check, let's check back, because last time we looked at pollination. So, we're looking at the order of the occurrence, uh, pollination takes place first and then followed by fertilization. That's why last time we defined pollination first. And for this case, we come to fertilization. Yes. So we take note that once pollen grains are transferred, okay, from the stigma, sorry, from the anthers to the stigma, then that means uh, already we have got pollination. So from there, fertilization takes place. So uh, in this case, we are saying the joining of male and female cells will take place, okay, in plants. Yes. This is carried out by the help of the, the, the agents, the pollinators, which are the insects, the wind, I'll talk of that. Yes, so for this case, we want to check, look at the process. Yes, how it takes place. So major we say that when pollen grains reach the stigma, a pollen tube is formed, which grows through the style to the ovary, okay? The pollen tube will transport the male nucleus, okay, uh, to the ovules, Yes, finding the female nucleus. So, uh, here in the ovary, the male nucleus joins the female nucleus. Okay? This process of joining together of the, the, the nucleus, okay, of the both, let's say, male and female cells, it is called fertilization. Okay? So, simply, uh, this gives us a reward. So, we shall simply look at what will happen after fertilization. Shall we say that? Shall we say that ovules will become seeds? And then the, the, the ovary will grow into or develop into a fruit. Yes, so uh, looking at this, we can simply look at a diagram here, okay, that gives us a clear view of the process of fertilization. Yes, uh, looking at this within a, yes, within a plant, uh, this is simply the pistil, the female part of a flower, which we looked at last time, yes. So, uh, on the fruit flower flower, we have the part stigma, and we say that this part here, the stigma, receives pollen grains. So, pollen grains are transferred from the male part of flower, which is the anther, and then transferred to the stigma. So, once pollen grains land on the stigma here, they will form a pollen tube, okay? This pollen tube, you now which will transport uh, the male sex cells, which are the nuclei, the male cells, the nuclei, okay? To the part here to the ovary. In the ovary here, this meets here, okay, the ovules. So the, the male cells now, which are the point of grains, the fuse or join with the female cells, okay? This will be fertilization in the plants. But remember, the different parts here, okay, uh, like the style, okay, yes, this is where the point of grains will go through. So just transports point of grains to the, to the ovary, and then here you have this part here, the ovary, where the ovules, uh, the ovules are found. So, 
what happens here after fertilization here we say that uh, uh, the ovules will grow into seeds while the ovary grows into a fruit so uh, this simply gives us a, a brief understanding or a clear view uh, of fertilization in the plants okay yes so we can be asked looking at the changes which happen after fertilization we say that the following can happen after fertilization the ovary yes will become a fruit or becomes a fruit okay and then ovules become seeds so ovules become let's say and ovules become seeds okay and then uh, other things which can happen like the flower stalk yes uh, the flower stalk okay will fall this one will become a fruit stalk okay at the end point yes then the stigma style anther filament petal and parrots on the dry and fall off so simply after fertilization we asked what takes place we are saying that uh, going back to that uh, the ovules yes uh, the ovules simply grow into seeds okay and uh, the ovary uh, become the fruit the flower stalk become a fruit stalk which can hold the fruit yes then the stigma the style the anther filament and petal for them they dry and fall off so commonly you'll be finding questions asked that what happens yes to what what happens after fertilization to the following majorly uh, to the ovary yes and the ovules simply to the ovary yes you can say the ovary becomes the fruit and then the ovules become seeds yes so let's check here uh, we can look at fruits and seeds yes majorly a fruit is a mature ovary with two scars okay yes the style scar and the stock scar yes and then uh, we can see that fruits from fertilized ovaries contain seeds this also will send us to the second part where you can look at the seed for the seed will be a mature ovary with one scar okay just the scar from the part the point which of we are ovules okay entered okay or fused okay so the the the, the, the point grains and the part of the point grains entered the ovary part so so that part diffusing will give us a scar so the remain okay on the ovary will now be what is called the, the scar so seeds have got one scar so we shall come go ahead and look at uh, fruit and uh, and and, and, and seeds okay uh, so you can even get out you can go ahead and get a fruit look at it look at the the point of entry yes the the, 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 style, the style scar and then the, down the stock scar those are two scars. When you get a seed like a bean seed, may look at bean seed, uh, you, you'll be finding this one scar. Okay? When you got fruits like a nut house, check on mango fruits, orange fruits, you'll be seeing there are two scars. The style scar and the stock scar. So compare seeds and the, get a variety of, of fruits and then seeds. Look at the, 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 the stocks, okay? Yes, you will be finding majorly for the seed, you will be majorly one, the style, the, 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 the point of entry of ovule, of, of point grains, the ovules will be the, the scar, okay? To the side of the fruit, there will be two, the, 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 the style scar and the stock scar. Uh, so uh, this can push us to this scan part, okay? Yes, and this will be our last point. So uh, this can push us to see this puzzle. So once the seeds, the ovules have grown into seeds, that I means this is mature, okay? So they can be spread, they can be sent or scattered different plants, different parts for further yes, growth. Um, so in this case, we can say, yes, looking at seed dispersal. Seed dispersal simply will be the scattering of seeds from the parent plant to other areas, yes? Or seed dispersal can simply mean movement of seeds from one place to another. So we are going to see how the seeds move one place to another. They move in different ways. Okay. So uh, before looking at methods of seed dispersal, we can simply look at uh, the importance of seeds seed dispersal. Why should the seeds be dispersed and move from one place to another? So we are saying prevents overcrowding near the parent plant. We find that uh, in seed dispersal, yes, we find that uh, it prevents overcrowding of seeds with, you, with what? With other plants. So once seeds are dispersed, are sent to other places, 
the plants want to be overcrowded. Okay? So they will grow in separate places and have enough space. Then also uh, reduces on competition of air, water, and sunlight. Because they are spread to different places. Yes, so there is more space. So this can help to avoid the competition for air, water, and sunlight. So they can easily germinate and grow properly. Then uh, it enables plants to occupy new places. If seeds are moved from place to another, so they can easily occupy new places, go in places where they can easily uh, have enough light, have enough water and sunlight. Then, so here we check on the agents of seed dispersal. Majorly, we have animals, okay? We have wind, we have running water, and then selfic explosion. So, simple last thing we find about agents uh, of, of pollination. We say that for agents, are things that can help, okay, everything to occur. So, in this case, the agents of seed dispersal are factors that help a seed to be moved from place to another. So then uh, these factors can be animals, wind, uh, running water, and then self-explosion. So we can look at one by one and then see how this happened. Like look at self-explosion. Yes, check on this, you can see uh, peep hard exploding release seeds. So a self-explosion, this is where fruits split open with a lot of force and then throw out seeds. Yes, so this majorly happens uh, like uh, uh, in this leguminous plant. Talk of the, the peas, beans. Yes, so their seeds are easily once once the once the spot or the beans are here mature. Yes, they easily and then they try. So they develop pressure, which will throw, okay, or explode seeds outward. That is self explosion. So it can happen majorly in these leguminous plants. Talk of peas. Be, uh, beans, yeah, soya beans, okay? Uh, and then when you go to the second uh, agent of seed dispersal will be wind. So wind, wind uh, flows and uh, spread the, the, the plant seeds, okay? At a longer distance, talk of cotton seeds, okay? Talk of the dendion, the spatodia, the jacaranda. So they, because they've got wings for, like say for flying, once wind blows, they can easily be flown from one place to another. So uh, we can be asked to mention examples of, okay, of, of seeds, yes, that can be blown or that can be spread or dispersed by wind. Uh, simply talk of uh, seeds like uh, cotton seeds, dendron, uh, talk of sapothodia and jacaranda. Yes, uh, then uh, this pushes us to the next part, which are uh, look at the agent, which are the animals, as the agent of this puzzle. Yes, so animals majorly say, how, they, how does this happen? Some animals eat juice and flesh parts of fruits, okay? And then they scatter them away from far from the mother plant. Yes, majorly talk about uh, fruits like ma ma mango, mango fruits, talk of oranges, passion fruits, guavas. So as animals eat these fruits and then uh, go disperse, uh, go to other places, they can leave it or drop the droppings there and we find that uh, this is can grow there. That is also called seed dispersal. Another way, uh, animals like human beings also can eat, they say, a fruit and then uh, remove a seed you throw. For example, you go to the market and buy a mango. Once you buy a mango, you eat a mango and then uh, at the end you throw this, the, the seed. So once you put a seed aside or you take the garden, you go and plant it, you are dispersing it. So that's the seed dispersal. And then uh, some fruits, okay, and seeds have hooks, okay or spikes which can stick on, on the hair of animals like all clothing yes those animals passing by for example look about like a, like a, uh, this the, 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 some, some plants okay uh, the, the, the blackjack for the blackjack you can example here yes so as animals like let's say cows dogs once they pass through the garden yes so this blackjack can easily stick okay themselves on the board of uh, the headboard of animals because they have got hooks. Yes, even human beings are moving through these the gardens. So these can, they can easily they can easily use the hooks and then uh, attach themselves to the board of human beings. And then as you move to different places, you remove the you put down all through the the, the, the black jack is spreading them, dispersing. 
So this clear diagram here gives us a clear view, yes, on see this puzzle by animals. Uh, and then now we have the last part here where we have uh, this puzzle, yes, by water. So water is a very important agent of see this puzzle, whereby uh, fruits and seeds are dispersed by water. You find that uh, this is very common in the plants which you, let's say, grow near, let's say, uh, grow near, which grow, grow near water, water bodies, okay? Talk of coconuts, coconut plants. So once seeds, these plants, let's say, the seeds are mature and then they're, they're dropped into water, water can easily flow, okay? And transport them to different places. So you can see this. So as they are transported to far places, they can easily grow up from there. That means they are transported or they are moved from one place to another. So simply, see this puzzle, uh, as we find, we say that uh, is the movement of the seeds from one place to another. So we have got many ways how seeds can move from place to another. And then uh, we can check through as we discussed. Yes, uh, we looked at uh, these agents of seeds puzzle. And we said specifically, seeds can be moved from one place to another, let's say by animals, okay? Uh, and then uh, we talked about this, whereby animals can, let's say, some animals eat juicy frogs, okay? Even human beings eat these frogs and then drop them at the far places. Yes, uh, that can be, so this part then, then for wind, as wind blows, can blow, uh, some seeds shall go to. Uh, uh, we like structures, the like cotton seeds, the jacalanda, spathodia, they are easily blown and then uh, uh, they, they grow from there. So, see this part of movement of a seed from one place to another. Then, that's talk of running water. So, we said running water can simply uh, move seeds, like those plants which grow near Lake Shore. Let's talk of the coconut seeds. Yes. And then, lastly, talk of self explosion, whereby uh, these, these plants, they said it happens like uh, in these leguminous plants. These plants have got pods, so these pods are some mainly hard. So once they are mature and then dry, they develop pressure because of too much heat and then you explode towards its far areas. So this uh, gives us a clear view about slave explosion. Talk of examples of plants like uh, talk of beans, talk of uh, soya beans, yes. Uh, peas, they can easily explode, their pods can easily explode and throw its far, and this is simply called self explosion. Yes, uh, having looked at uh, uh, see this puzzle, okay, looking at the agents, and uh, yeah, yeah, of, 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 yeah, and then the features of, of each agent, this brings us to the end of our lesson today. Uh, so, yes. Today's lesson, we have majorly covered two things. Remember, yes, uh, we properly, yes, looked at uh, fertilization, okay, looking at seeds, how they say uh, the ovules and, and, the, and, and, and the, the point grains fuse. This was very important. And then uh, we said at the end, uh, look at uh, what happens after fertilization. We found that uh, uh, the ovules grow into seeds and then the, 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 the ovary will grow, grow and the ovary grows into to the fruit. So we went ahead and looked at the mature seeds have to be moved or dispersed to other places and we call that seed dispersal. So we say the seed dispersal is the movement of the seeds from one place to another or from the mother plant to other places. This was very clear and very good. Yes, we also went ahead and looking at the agents of this puzzle. Yes, we talked of, uh, of self explosion. Uh, I talked of uh, uh, this puzzle by water. Yes, this puzzle by wind. This puzzle by animals. So these are clearly agents of say, this puzzle. So it's very important to note this. Yes, uh, it's very good. And then, uh, uh, having gone through this, this brings us to the end of our lesson today. Please remember. Uh, we are going. We send you more questions for revision. Uh, always check uh, watch watch BTN TV. Check uh, on uh, Twitter. You'll be getting the questions. We always send uh, questions. Check on uh, Facebook. Yes. Check on uh, BTN uh, website. Yes. Check on Wisdom Center website. We will be having these these questions and then WhatsApp groups. Yes. So stay well. Thank you.